As rain moved through a retaining wall in the Bronx gave way. It happened this morning in the Mount Home section. CBS News Christina Fan reports there has been an ongoing battle over who's on the hook for repairs now. Look, you see, this is the wall. Grafton Jones showed us photos of what the retaining wall behind his home used to look like versus now. He was asleep Wednesday morning when he heard a loud noise and found a portion of his backyard had disappeared, falling onto the roof of an auto body shop below. It sounded like two truck collapsed, like a crash, like boom. Firefighters responded just before 7 a.m. Five residential buildings and three businesses were impacted, but fortunately, no injuries. Neighbors say the wall was about 50 feet tall, made out of dirt and stone, and ran along their backyards, which are situated on a hill along Anthony Avenue. As you can see, as the water, the snow, that was going to make that happen eventually. The wall was actually cracking already. Neighbors say they've been locked in a bitter battle with the city since the early 2000s, asking for for repairs to be made. They told us they recently had a meeting with the Department of Buildings and were told the cost of fixing the wall was not the city's responsibility. It's impossible for we to see how we own the wall. We went and get drawing and everything and the architect said that the city owned the wall. The Department of Buildings refutes the family's claims. A spokesperson sent us a statement that reads in part, the retaining wall is located on private property. When a retaining wall spans multiple property lots, all all of the property owners are jointly responsible for the wall. The DOB says this collapse remains under investigation and that prior to this incident, it issued orders to these property owners to make repairs. In the Mount Hope section of the Bronx, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.